Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today we're talking Chrome boxes, more specifically upgrading Chrome boxes. Uh, we're going to take the CTL apart, show you just how easy it is to upgrade the RAM in one of these uh, new generation of Chrome boxes. So let's dive right in. Before we tear down this Chrome box, let's talk for a second about tools. Uh, having the proper tools for a job like this makes all the difference in the world. And uh, I recommend you go out, you can pick out one of these kits like this on Amazon, Best Buy, wherever for about 20 bucks. It has all of your tips. Uh, it's going to have all your pry tools. And more importantly, it's going to have this. This is a grounding strap. I've joked about these in the past and I get a lot of flack about them, but you do need to wear a grounding strap. I have borked more than one device because I did not wear one of these. All this does is neutralize the charge between you and the device that you're working on. And yes, you need to use it. And yes, you need to use it every time because the first time you do not, you will fry the motherboard on your computer and then you don't have a computer. So that said, I'm going to put this on and we're going to take this Chrome box apart. All right, grounding straps on, we're ready to go. Uh, for this, I have a four gig stick of Samsung RAM. This is DDR3, you can use DDR4. These newer Chrome boxes can handle that just fine. Just make sure you're getting a 204 pin. Uh, I recommend Crucial simply because it's a little cheaper and they actually have a Chrome box section on their site. So you know you're going to get a stick of RAM that's going to fit. Uh, this is a CTL Celeron 5205. So it's a Comet Lake with four gigs the RAM and we're going to show you just how easy it is to add an extra four gigs. You can go all the way up to 32 if you want. It's a little overkill for a Celeron. If you have the i7 model and you want to do that, the process is going to be exactly the same. So let's get started. Uh, you flip the device over and on the bottom you're going to notice there are two rubberized feet here. Um, they're self-adhesive so you just need a little pry bar, plastic pry tool like this. It came in the kit that we purchased. You're just going to want to pry these up and they will peel right off. Just set those aside. Uh, the cool thing about this is there are only eight screws to take apart and they are all identical. You don't have to worry about whether or not your screws are separated or you, you get a mismatch or whatever. I'm using the uh, screwdriver from our kit. This is a 2.5 Phillips. Uh, found that that fits perfectly on these. I'm just going to take these four screws out of the base. I didn't forget about the grounding strap. We'll get there in just a second. All right, so you're going to take these four screws out, set those aside. If you have a static pad or something like that where you can set your screws, that's even better. Uh, this base should pop right off. If it doesn't, you can pry it open with the pry tool. And then you're gonna see a metal plate here on the bottom. Now is a good time to get your grounding strap and just find some bare metal on the device. Um, I go ahead and let you know up front, I have the power supply disconnected on this one, so it's not that big of a deal, but you're going to want to find just a piece of bare metal on the inside, not painted metal. Painted metal is not going to ground because it's painted. Clip that to that, out of sight, out of mind, you're ready to go. We have four more screws in the same place. Let's go ahead and take those four screws out. And once you get them out, just be careful. You don't want to just yank this thing out. It has all of your ports on it and they're is one wire that is connected to this base and if you yank it out you might break it and you don't want to do that because then you're going to be buying a new chrome box uh, ctl does customize their chrome boxes you can order this celeron and upgrade the ram there and it's not that expensive but if you're a tinkerer or if you buy one and you just decide down the road you want some more ram you could do it yourself or if you just want to save a little bit of money so just pry that piece up and move it out of the way if you want, you can actually slide this off and take this completely out of the way. It's not that big of a deal if you don't want to. I find it's easier just to set it aside. Uh, the only difference between this model and the previous model is this. This is just a metal heat shield that sits over top of the RAM. There's four fins that it slides down into. So you literally can just grab it and pull it straight off. 
uh, another reason why you do want to have the grounding strap because you're taking a chance on metal touching metal. Uh, do be careful when you pop it out because the power supply actually mounts to the board right here. I have it moved out of the way, but if you pop this off too hard, you could easily break that power supply off the board. But you will see now, here is the installed four gigs of RAM. It has two slots, so there's no need to mess with that one that's already in there. You're just gonna take your new RAM, line it up, slide it in, and press down until these little spring load clips pop in and that's it, you're good to go. Um, if you did decide why you're in here, you wanted to upgrade the storage or anything like that, the storage on these Chrome boxes is located here. You have to take this Wi-Fi card off with this single screw, then take this screw out here and slide in your new storage. But other than that, you're good. There's nothing you have to do on the software side to add this RAM. You just pop it in, put it back together, power it on, and it's gonna recognize that it now has eight gigs of RAM instead of four. Again, you could do two eight gig sticks, you could do a four and a two, you could do two 16s if you wanted to. But that's it, guys. You're just gonna reassemble it just the same way we took it back apart. Uh, I have found that these tend to lose their sticky after you take them off a couple of times. You can just buy some, you know, aftermarket double-sided tape and put them back on there, or you don't have to put them back on there at all. Other than that, there's nothing else to do to put new RAM in this device. So I actually did this video because I got an email the other day from someone who was looking at purchasing one of these for uh, one of their institutions, and he wanted to make sure that this was relatively simple to do. And on a scale to one to 10, it's about a three. Just make sure you have the right tools. Make sure you have the grounding strap. Other than that, there's really not a lot you can do to mess this up. It's fun to tinker with stuff like this. I love doing stuff like this. And uh, with all the new Chromeboxes on the market, we're hoping to get some more on hand because every device is a little bit different. And we really would like to do one for each Chromebox that's out there because some of them are gonna be more difficult than others. Some of them might not be worth your time. Other than that, guys, that's been it for this one. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe because we've got a lot more stuff coming your way.